Hey YouTube, this is Alice of Wonderland Speaks, and as usual, I'm doing another video uh, because I'm so inspired, and I'm still wearing my Halloween Halloween costume slash Thanksgiving costume. Um, it is it's kind of short, has a little skirt. Maybe in one of the videos I'll stand up, but it won't be this one. Uh, my topic is interracial dating. Now. Because I know you do like that topic, I want you to like, post, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell if you like my content. Please share, share, share. I really want my channel to get to a thousand subscribers by Christmas. I know that's a tall order, but not really. You know, there are some people with videos that go viral overnight. So for me to say, by Christmas, that's really not a tall order. It is for me, though, but I digress. Interracial dating, uh, since uh, I'm apparently this uh, big expert in it, I'm not. I'm just a black woman who uh, doesn't discriminate when it comes to men. I primarily dated, uh, of course, black men, uh, then white men. Uh, Spanish men, uh, Arabs, Iranians, um, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Um, but as far as whom I've married, I've married black and I've married white. So, um, interracial dating trying to put my mind in that set of what it would be like to be brand new. Well, I'm kind of kind of impossible for me to be brand new. I'm not brand new. Um, uh, one would say I'm a little bit of a flirt. Uh, I'm not. I just want to give you some tips on uh, when you are somewhere. This is not something I do with people. I mentioned in another video that I went to a country bar with white chicks, but I would say the majority of the time when I meet white men, I'm alone. I'm alone. Uh, if I'm in the grocery store, I'm not with anybody. If I am anywhere, I mean, literally anywhere, I've been driving down the street at a light. I mean, it can, <laughs> you might say, how, how could a guy hit on you at a light? They do. They hit on you anywhere. You, we're both at the light together. I look over there. He looks over here. You know, there it is. Um, but it, it literally can happen anywhere. I know that you probably think I'm exaggerating and it, this, this, this doesn't really happen like this. It does. I don't want you to stress yourself out. I don't want you to... This needs to be organic. This isn't something you rehearse. Your mind has to be ready to, uh, to welcome something different than what you know. That, I think, is the biggest challenge here, is your mind being ready. I didn't sit and have a conversation. Back then, we got together all the time, meaning me and friends and family and all that. But not once did I ever have a conversation in a group of people that I'm going to date white guys. Never, ever, never, ever, ever said that. Never told anybody anything. You know, I didn't. I mean, if we had a conversation about dating or about men, I would say, well, I went to, uh, I might mention that I went to a country bar with my neighbors. Now, keep in mind, you might say, well, how could you go to a country bar with um, white women? We were neighbors and we'd gotten really close. That's the thing. When you're young, uh, you don't have all these, these things in the way, you know, all the things that come over time. When you're young, it just is what it is. We got to be really close, really quick. What we had in common, first of all, is that we lived in the same neighborhood. We both had young kids, and that was it. That was really it, you know. That was our common denominator. And what do young girls do when they have something in common? 
They talk about men. And then they go out. And that's what we did. But now I never had any fear. I was never afraid. Uh, because back then I did drink a little bit. But I was never worried when I drank. If something was going to happen to me. I knew that they took my life into their hands. And vice versa. We looked out for each other all the time. And I felt comfortable with that. Same way with the other neighbors in my uh, neighborhood, the women, young women. Uh, if we were at each other's house and we were drinking or smoking or whatever we were doing, never worried that something out of order was going to happen. Never, ever. It never happened. Um, so with that in mind, I'm not saying you got to go out and get you a white friend, even though it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to do. Okay, and then you might be thinking, oh, I don't have time for all that. It takes too long. Uh, not really. Again, the, the only thing, the only barricade that's going on here is up here. You know, because when I first went to that country bar, I didn't really know if I could do it. I didn't really know if I could let a, 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 a white guy touch me, you know, in any way. You know, sitting next to me. Putting his arm around me. I mean, real basic stuff. I did not know. I, I didn't know. But you're drinking. You know, it starts with uh, one coming over. They're looking. There's four of us at the table. I'm the only black one. And they're looking around. They're already checking you out over there, wherever they're at. And they come over and ask you to dance. And everybody's looking at each other. But he's looking at me because I'm looking at him. And they say, Alice, he's talking to you. Okay. So I get up. We dance. Dance runs a little long. These are not, these are kind of slow dances, you know. Uh, so we dance. Uh, do a little talking on the floor. I come back. So now you know if it wants to go any further if after you dance and he comes back to the table with you and now he wants to buy you a drink. So now, of course, he wants to sit down because he's buying you a drink. And if you like him, meaning you got chemistry, you're laughing and you're talking, he's making you laugh, you're making him laugh, then you go from there. And you decide what happens after that. You can say, uh, well, I I took his lead. You know, that was a long time ago when I let the man lead as far as the conversation was concerned. Because it was real basic. It wasn't anything complicated. Keep in mind, we're in a bar and everybody's drinking, laughing, nothing intense. So, you know, we were either going out to eat back then, that's what people did after they went to a club. They go out to the 24-hour restaurant and eat. Now, by then, <laughs> it's 4 o'clock in the morning. So now what are you going to do? You're either going to go home alone or you're going to take him with you. Okay? It's that simple. By then, you've spent at least six hours with him. You know, he's been buying you all these drinks, but you still have a choice. You don't have to. Now, keep in mind, this was, whew, this was a, a very, very long time ago. <laughs> this was more than 30 years ago. So, yeah, if I liked him, I might take him home. Yeah. So, that's how that was. I know things are a lot more uh, quick now. That. I'm still the same person, you know, I'm still the same person. If I go out my door today and see somebody and they trying to chat me up, I'm a different person now because I think I send off some sort of um, aura uh, that I'm interested without even saying anything. It's just a way in which I carry myself. Another thing I would say, and I'm not going to give you too much in this video because I'm already at 
Jesus Christ, 10 minutes. I'm not going to say anything else in this video just to say what I've said. Just um, <laughs> have a great time. Uh, enjoy yourself and free your mind. This is Alice at Wonderland Speaks. Please like, subscribe, post, share, click the notification bell.